Welcome to the Data Pouch Classroom. My name is Oscar, and today we're going to be talking about the different types of backup, um, specifically incremental and differential. Okay, there's actually three different types of backups. There's um, a full backup, which is a backup of everything in its entirety. And then we also have incremental backups, which if you take a backup life cycle from Monday to Friday, basically consists of a full backup on a Monday, and then just the changes on a Tuesday, followed by the changes on a Wednesday, and so forth until you get to a Friday. So what you end up with here is a much smaller backup every day because it's only the changes that are taken into account. With a differential backup, you still have the same full backup as you did initially. The following day, you have the full backup along with the changes from that day. And on the Wednesday, you do the same thing until you get to the Friday, which again is a full backup plus all the changes, but these are all the changes that have happened throughout the week. In the take backup era, um, differential backups were, were the chosen method of backup. And basically, as you can see from here, it's because you would have had less tapes to manage. Uh, for example, if you had to do a restore on a Friday, you would have had two tapes to manage as opposed to using incremental backups, which would have involved five in this instance. The benefits are, at the time, cost, um, and also the management of those tapes in the first place. Um, this makes it more manageable and more cost effective. In the cloud backup era, incremental backups are the chosen method of backup. Um, as you can see from here, it would only be the small changes every day that it would need to send. That means that with bandwidth being limited in most cases and large amounts of data being transmitted, it takes up less time, takes up less disk space, and it's much, much more cost-effective way of backing up. Now, a lot of people think that there could be a problem with incremental backups and the length of the chain that that consists of. A long time ago, that would have been a problem. If you had a break or an issue here, it could mean that the whole chain would end up being corrupted or non-recoverable. And the only way of finding that out would be to test the backup, and at which point it would be too late. In the online backup era, and with technology as it's progressed, there's mechanisms in place to protect that information that's there. In the background, there's self-healing processes, and they basically monitor the chain, monitor the data that's there to make sure the integrity is there and the points are still recoverable. To sum up, incremental backups are now the best choice uh, for online backups. Um, why? Because they take less time, they're more cost-effective, and they take up less space.